What's up guys and welcome back to another review at Project Time Garage. Today we're going to have a look at this cooler that was sent over to us by the folks at Set Power. This is like a cooler, but it's way cooler. See what I did there? So not only is this a cooler, but it's also a freezer and a refrigerator. This thing is brand new. It just released, just now launched, so it's hot off the presses. It's powered by 12 volts, comes with a cigarette lighter adapter, and there's an optional home adapter that you can plug in the wall uh, as well. So when this thing is in the car with you, it keeps things nice and cold. So if you're going on long trips and worried about keeping ice in a cooler and all that junk, this is the way to do it. Even though it's brand new and it just came out and all that, they sent this to us a while back. So we've had some time to um, look at it and actually put it to good use and put it to good use I have. If you watch my channel at all, you'll know that my particular lifestyle is all over the place. So I am, you know, out reviving vehicles and getting stuff home and farming, you know, over a hundred miles away. And uh, continually on the weekends, I'm out and about doing things. And traditionally I've always carried like a little cooler bag or whatever, but you gotta be careful with stuff like that, especially in the summer, because you know, if you're not putting tons of ice packs and stuff in there, then well, your, your, your lunch isn't gonna be good. And you know how it is when you eat a lunch, it isn't good, especially in a place where there's no facilities. I digress. <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, another thing that I have uh, that, that gives me heartburn about regular coolers, have you ever had a sandwich and you put it in your little Ziploc bag and you put it in the cooler, the side that's closest to the ice gets kind of mushy and the side that's not closest to the ice, the bread kind of gets that anyway it's not good this fixed that for me for about a week or so uh i was running back and forth to our farm which is it's about 100 miles away from where i live and i usually like i said just throw a cooler and big old freedom here and we hit the road and go but this time i put this in the back seat and um plugged it up and i left this thing in the truck running for about four days and um it did a great job. The refrigerated side stayed exactly where it needed to be. I think I was at like 34 degrees or something like that. I had the freezer set to zero. I didn't really use the freezer, but it held zero pretty well. But the best thing about it was I was able to put my, you know, put my lunch and my drinks and stuff in there and kept it nice and cold. Uh, I was concerned about the battery, uh, you know, in the truck running down, but this thing has a low power uh, feature that basically senses battery voltage and if it drops below a certain point, it'll kick the thing off, saving your battery. You can even adjust it. Um, the battery protection thing, you know, like high, middle, or low, and we're gonna get into the controls here in a few minutes of it, but, uh, but I just wanted to point that feature out that you can keep this thing running, you know, long periods of time in your vehicle and it's fine. I know that this year when my family goes to Florida, this bad boy's coming because usually we take a, humongous orca cooler that thing takes up a lot of room and my bed cover will barely close over it on my primary truck and you know it's you're, you got ice so you waste a lot of space there this is going to be really cool so let's get it on the bench and let's have a better look at it so this is what we're working with this thing has a capacity of 37 quarts or 35 liters it runs on 12 volts dc it comes with the cigarette lighter adapter and there's also an optional uh wall adapter uh, and basically the way this thing works, it just provides you a 12 volt outlet to plug into. And of course this side plugs into standard, standard 110, 120 volt AC. And the refrigeration unit has a range of from zero degrees all the way up to 50 degrees. And uh, in my usage, it looks like uh, you can do either side. It, there's not a, that's necessarily a dedicated freezer slash refrigerator. You can set both of them to 50 or both of them to zero. Uh, it's the way it looks, uh, but I would think that, you know, a lot of people would probably want to use it as, you know, the small, the small chamber as their freezer and the big one as their fridge, but hey, your mileage may vary. On the inside, actually you can see it's already dirty in there because like I said, I've been using this bad boy. We have, uh, we have a pretty big chamber here for the quote refrigerator side. And there's also a really nice LED light here. So when you open the lid, the LED comes on. We'll see that here in a few minutes too. And also there's, uh, in the free freezer chamber, there's the same thing, this LED light here. Also, pretty interesting that they give you a little bit of useful information inside here, like, you know, what the troubleshooting steps would be. But the big thing is um, 
they show you what temperatures that you should be using for different foods and such. So that's, uh, that's a pretty nice little reference there as well. As far as weight goes, um, I would say that it is, I haven't put it on a scale to see exactly what it weighs yet, but I would say that it is right on par with one of my standard Orca coolers of the same size, which were probably about the same as a, a Yeti. Um, <laughs> and I think it has about the same interior space as well, to be honest with you, because all of my Orcas and Yetis, the interesting thing about them is they're humongous coolers. You can open them up and it's like little bitty insides. I mean, I get it. They have to have, they have to have uh, insulation. That's what, you know, keeps them cool. Anyway, uh, let's power this thing up and have a look at it. And, you know, in operation, we'll see what all the controls and all these things do. And then we'll put it to the test. In this case, I'm going to use the, uh, the AC adapter for it. This is the cigarette lighter adapter. It's a nice long cord. I would say that's probably about eight feet, 10 feet, something like that, probably about 10 feet. I don't know what that is in meters. Anyway, so let's plug this thing up here. And we'll take this side, pinch it over. Plug it in and here we go. Now we can see the inside with these lights on. So it's lit up and running here, and you can hear the compressor. It's pretty quiet. Running over these controls here really quick. Let's start with the battery protection. Basically, you have three options for battery protection. This is when this sets when the machine should cut itself off if it's connected to your car to save from running the battery down. On low, it will go into protection at 9.6 volts and it'll recover at 10.9. In the medium setting or middle setting, it will protect at 10.4 or shut off at 10.4 and recover at 11.7. And on the high setting, it will protect at 11.1 and recover at 12.4. Now this thing also does 24 volts DC as well. Uh, so those values are a little different. Uh, low is 21.3. Uh, medium is 22.8 and high is 24.3. Now it's worth noting that in my case when I first connected this using the AC adapter, the wall adapter, it did go into battery protection after about probably 10 seconds of running and I actually switched this back to low. It, it did come back on but I, I found it strange that it that it dipped like that. If, if that happens I'm sure you could switch this battery protection all the way to low because if you're plugged into the wall Probably not gonna run that battery down on your house, hopefully. Obviously the on off button, that's gonna be self-explanatory. Press it and hold it to turn it on, press it and hold it to turn it off. The compressor speed, maximum and minimum, uh, this is basically just uh, an economy mode down here in minimum. So when you press and hold this and set down to minimum, obviously eco mode comes on. This might be handy when it's gonna sit for long periods of time in your car. Uh, that, I'm sure that would save a lot of the battery draw. Here you have the, the left and right uh, temperature bin settings. So if we close the lid, we can start to, we can start to um, adjust our temperatures all the way down to zero. This one is set to, we can go all the way to zero with this one as well. So in, in this, at this stage of the game, both of these things are basically acting as a uh, as a freezer. But you know, most of the time you want your, or I want my refrigerator somewhere around 33, 34 degrees, something like that. And I'll keep my freezer at zero. So up and down, uh, adjust those. Now this, this readout is in Fahrenheit. If you want to switch it to Celsius, you would hold down the set button and the down arrow at this at this right bin, and that will get us into Fahrenheit mode. And I'll hold it again to get it back into Fahrenheit mode. Also, any of the buttons down here at the bottom for compressor speed or battery protection, you can't just push them. You must push them and hold them until the value changes. Also, we can turn on and off cooling zones. For example, if I want to turn this zone off, I can press and hold both these buttons at the same time. and turn this side off. Pressing holding it again, turn it back on. Now let's turn the thing off and we'll go ahead and open up both of these bins and it's already getting cold in there now. Um, I'm going to set up a clock 
and we can basically sit here and watch this thing go down over time and we'll see how quickly that it can achieve you know its temperature but i do want to get both of these bins up to room temperature at this point i think it's somewhere around i don't know 55 56 in here right now so we'll get that uh, that going in fact i think i may turn the heat on in here and get get the temp on up so it's a little more of a real world test real world test so let's, let's go do that and i'll bring you right back all right the next thing we're going to do is i've set up a clock here we're going to turn this thing on i'm going to set the freezer side to zero and the refrigerator side i'll set that to uh, 32 degrees right at freezing uh, fahrenheit because i don't know anything about metricals we'll see how long it takes this thing to cool down clock should uh, should give us some info i'm going to go ahead and run you on a time lapse just because i don't want this to take absolutely hours uh, and then uh, we'll we'll know for sure how quick it cools down so let's check that out okay we'll close the lids fire the thing up make sure that says zero and this says 32 and it does i'm going to run the compressor speed at max and of course, we're not worried about battery protection because we're plugged in AC. All right, here comes some time lapse. Let's see what happens. This thing had reached zero and has has climbed back up to seven now, so even though that it's been cooling for a while now. So I'm curious about how quickly the temperature actually updates. Um, but we are we are still making progress here. This side's cooling and we're we're still coming down here. I think the thing is the the right bin obviously is a whole lot bigger, so it's going to take a lot longer to get it down to temperature, but it's coming. So, um, anyway, I'll put you back on a time lapse and we'll just keep on watching. Okay, looks like we have reached our temperature. Actually, we've gone past it just a little bit, which I fully expect. Um, I don't know how much time has lapsed because I've been doing other things in the garage, but here in a second, I will put the times down here at the bottom so you guys know how fast we got to the freeze temperature and how fast we got to the refrigerator temperature. Now let's go put this thing to some good use the way it was meant to be used. I've got some trees down back in the back Got to go clean them up. To power this thing today, I'm just going to use a portable battery bank and we'll use our car charger. Luckily, I had this thing plugged up overnight, so it's already nice and cold. we go all right now let's get some other essentials like chainsaws and let's populate it with something to drink
we'll put one in the freezer side too because occasionally I like a good frozen water. All right, let's hit the road. Now, let's jump more freedom here. He's taking on some pretty rough terrain. We'll see how it holds up. Ah, refreshment. It's hard work. Okay, so you can see how I use this. I didn't realize how much I actually wanted one of these things until I got one of these things. This has been a game changer for me. Like I said earlier in the video, I've got a really outdoor lifestyle. We do a, a whole lot out like this. We've got a bunch of property here. We've got a big farm. Having something like this, invaluable to me. I can't believe how much I've actually used this thing since I got it, you know? I'm hooked. At this point, I want to put it in my pocket and take it everywhere I go. So, needless to say, I highly recommend it. If, uh, if you have any kind of a need for mobile refrigeration, you're an outdoors guy, you're a bicyclist, you're a heck, a golfer, a hiker, whatever, 
having one of these things really nice um, as for me here today I've got about I don't know maybe 30% of the work done that needs to be done up here today I've got about another half mile or so uh, up this road so I'm gonna get back to work and uh, get it done but uh, you know guys like I said um, highly recommend it game changer like I said this thing is brand new just hit the market about maybe a week ago so if you plan to buy one of these things down in the description box below I'm gonna leave a discount code for you so uh, along with a link of where to buy this so click on the link put in the discount code in, in the cart and you'll get a discount on your purchase and who wouldn't like a discount I mean <laughs> have you seen the price of eggs anyway guys appreciate you watching the video uh, hope you enjoyed the review if you got anything to say down there in the comments is the place to do it give me a thumbs up if you like this video and as usual don't forget to like share subscribe tell all your friends about us guys I'll see you next time